So therefore, what I'm going now to ensure is that Ugandans, Ugandan people lose appetite for the gun. I am going to supervise these operations myself so that if a wrestler sees a gun, even if it is lying down here, he will not touch it. So therefore, I want to, uh, to, uh, to appeal to you to take these messages to, the, uh, to those boys, those young people, that please bring back the guns voluntarily. The, the neighbors having the guns, Turkana, South Sudan, and so on. Uh, I think where the army has a weakness is not responding, not developing the uh, and also the government, not developing the security roads along the border which I'm now going to concentrate on, make sure they are developed, security roads along the border, but also within, as you are saying, uh, so that, because if you say, we cannot disarm in Uganda, unless they disarm in, in, in Kenya, Ethiopia, Somalia, and so on, we don't control Kenya, we don't control Somalia. We don't control South Sudan. There are wars going on in Congo, on West Nairo side. There are wars going on in uh, Congo, on the Kasese side, and also on the Chisoro side, Kanungu. But there are no guns coming into Uganda because there are no Ugandans bringing those guns. Yeah. The guns are there in Congo, <laughs> they're there in what? But the, the, you, you don't hear of any gun issue in Kanungu, Chisoro, Kasese, Bundubujo, no. Why? Because there are no local constituency for guns. Your Excellency, we have come to appeal to you if you can grant these people amnesty. Even Lopusto, who was killed recently, had reached a point where he had called me to say, Honorable, help me, I don't want to die. Can I bring my gun to your home and you take? I said, well, let me first find out. I called the division commander, General, I mean, General Balikudembe. I said, yes, if Lopusto is ready to bring his gun, we will even receive his gun and set him free. Why is it important to do that, Your Excellency? Because a majority of them, even those who have been put out of action, had recruited the teams behind them. Who now are wallowing in the bush like when the LRA war ended. The children who were born and grew up into the force, they remained in the bush because they belonged to no tribe. Our people have also said, if it was not for this unfortunate uh, uh, mishap on the iron sheets, they were saying that the best thing, Your Excellency, you would do is, if they are iron sheets, Bring them to each of these barracks. Let it be in Kabong. As somebody brings his gun, he goes with his iron sheets. Then when he goes to the village, they will say, hey, human, how did you buy? He said, no, I took back my gun, and I was given my iron sheets, and I'm back home to start the transformation process. Now we are preparing a big force to come and really fresh, like we did at the beginning of the disarmament. But the question is, why all this? More manpower, more bullets, bombs, petrol. Good evening, Your Excellency. In addition to, to that, there are points which are specific to security that came from this group and which uh, have, which point somewhere, for example, one pointed to plugging 
the source of bullets. And he says that uh, the guns may not be 100% protected from coming into Karamoja since they are porous borders, but the bullets are not all carried from outside. And I thought that is a point of concern on our side. Uh, there is a, a serious point of uh, source protection that some of the peace uh, agents who have volunteered information and uh, they have not been protected and uh, once there is source protection is uh, compromised and people die, then that means we shall live in a, an opaque situation. The, there are two important points that are not specifically to physical security, but one is overarching, uh, overarching and that is hunger. Uh, it was repetitive that this hunger is even creating other uh, sorts of crime, uh, like ambushing vehicles and uh, even going to disrupt the urban centers, which means that we need to look uh, beyond the traditional uh, security of uh, disarmament. I look forward, sir, yeah. to come closer to them, to work with them, and be able to fill that gap that has created the insecurity in the region. And with that, we are optimistic that we shall find working with them we shall find a solution to ensure that the region becomes peaceful and excellency. So, the, anybody who is a friend of, really, who, who cares about you people, should never, never talk of, of guns. When I came to Karamoja to campaign for UPM, we, 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 we took part in the campaign, although we knew they were going to rig, but we knew what we would do. When I came, what is the population of Karamoja? 190,000. So, where are, the, who are the children? I too young. many women So, where were the children in 1980 when I came there? Where were the children going? Killed by disease. What is the population of Karamoja now? About 1. Point something? About 1.2, 1.3. Yes. Those are my children. Because I, I, when you don't kill my people, they immunize them. But when they are immunizing, then you kill some. But still, the population has come up. Because of, of, of mainly immunization. But, but I think also, with the disarmament, maybe less, less dying by gun. Now, after we removed the guns by 2000, by, from 2007 to, to, to 2018, there was peace in the whole of Karamoja. Because you see, the money we are squandering with the army, fuel, bombs, that's money which should be helping you to make dams. You have seen some of the few dams we have done, and you have seen how much they help people. So when they get this, uh, what do you call development in Akaramojo? Akitopol Akwap. Akitopol. So when there is some little Akitopol, all these fellow come and gather there, even the Turkanas. So if you see that this little Akitopol can help you, why do you divert us by forcing us to squander money on bombs and bullets? And, uh, for you, you go and steal cows. They have got all sorts of sicknesses. So you are not stealing just cows, you are also stealing sicknesses. <laughs> so the, the big number of cows is in areas which are peaceful. So therefore, if you say that you like cows, that you, you want Akiporu, you must stop this business of stealing cows. And you must stop forcing us to squander money, because that money can be used better for your, for your benefit. You have seen how we have tarmacked uh, Soroti and Mori in the Karamojo. Thank you.
Security notice was a very key and fundamental decision you made, Mr. President. If we were to move faster to rescue our children from the criminal elements that come from my district, go to the district, let us open the security road from Capeta Sabu County, Kopor, Longor Dam to Labourdun. That will enhance the response from the security forces 